but it's really well known that he had more than just a casual interest in baseball. Um, occasionally we heard about um, uh, his college exploits um, and um, how he fielded uh, on second base. Uh, and occasionally we had comments on uh, what, what was going on in the major leagues and um, who, uh, other than Washington, uh, might <laughs> have good prospects for uh, the title. Washington, of course, never had good prospects in those days. Um, it, it was a part of his life, I think. Uh, he, he was actually, uh, according to his biographers, a, a very good athlete in his college days. Uh, he, that, all that had turned around and he was really in very bad physical shape, didn't get enough exercise mm -hmm. in the court. That was plain and uh, probably uh, put down a little too much uh, alcohol in relation to his lack of exercise. Smoke steadily um, at a little spittoon like Sherman Minton uh, right. right there and spit out the remains of a cigarette and get a new one out. The 51 term or the 52 term was the time when the antitrust case came up, Toulson. Uh, do you recall that at all? The New York, uh, New York Yankees Toulson case, I believe. It was revisiting a uh, case from the 20s That's right, right. Called, called National Baseball or Federal Baseball. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and Holmes wrote the uh, Holmes right. wrote the opinion. And I don't know, have you read that opinion? Yeah, uh, once upon a time. It basically says that baseball is not interstate commerce. Uh, yes. That it's, a, that it's, a, it's a diversion, uh, recreation, not a commercial activity, and thus beyond National Commerce Clause power. Yeah, and they, he described how there are clubs and players in them, and they travel around, and this you'll find it, with their balls and their bats, right. and um, it's a sport. <laughs> Actually, I think Frankfurter was giving the court a lecture on uh, uh, Holmes, and Holmes knew when it was time to overrule a decision, even if it was his own decision. And you know, it was an explanation for why he was not going to follow Holmes of 1920, but do what Holmes of 1950 would do. This, well, is, this is really in, in the conference room, and you've got your ears kind of near the door? Uh, uh, this is, uh, I, 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 he said, was saying enough, you know, in, in a shrill voice, and Holmes, Holmes! kept <laughs> repeating or hearing Holmes, and so you could kind of piece together what he obviously was saying, I think. Um, and uh, then this, <laughs> and everything went quiet and booming voice of Sherman Minton, uh, and uh, <laughs> that was it. Uh, and for the tape, what did he say? What was Minton's response? Bullshit. <laughs> Bullshit, Felix. <laughs> and he felt it was a uh, sport? Oh, yeah. Yeah, national sport. Every little boy, even little girls, play baseball. <laughs> something, something like that. Well, to this day it exists. It's the <laughs> only national or, ma or major league sport that still has an antitrust exemption. For better or for worse, right. I guess. It makes no sense, but it, it exists. <laughs>